All right, welcome to Casa del Mike Lee Kinerik. It is my office at Warrior Strength in Deerfield Beach, the fountainhead of the Agana system. I've been waiting to do this video for over a month. Yesterday was the first day in 30 days that I actually had a day off to myself. First thing in the morning, I took Michael to baseball, and then I actually took the day off. And I've been wanting to do the following video for a month already, but I've been so busy and uh, between 30 days, 31 days ago, 30 very specific military individuals, special operators came in from California to train for the weekend while I had the graduation of my older son, James, that weekend. So I had to completely uh, juggle their sessions in between the graduation. Then I had uh, an event, a uh, momentum event. Then I had uh, uh, going to... Uh, Pennsylvania, then I went to uh, Virginia, then, 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 and then, and then. So for the last 30 days, I've been going nonstop, nonstop. And yesterday was my first day off, and I actually got to think uh, how I'm going to present this video. I've been waiting to do this video for a few months now, but I did not want not to be ready to do it properly, so I'm going to do it properly. Okay, so uh, there is something very big brewing with Mike Lickenerk. It is the tactical G Kundo certification. Okay, I'm going to explain uh, exactly what it means. Uh, this will also will be my Wolf Apex video of Monday for my people that get my uh, private videos uh, on a daily basis, Monday to Friday. But I'm going to make this video uh, uh, public uh, so people understand where I'm going with the tactical Jeet Kune Do certification. Okay, in 1993, in 1993, I first met Joe Lewis at the RUJKD, Ranak University Jeet Kune Do, original Jeet Kune Do uh, camp that was promoted by Dr. Jerry Beasley at Radford University. It was not Karate College, it was a Ranak University Jeet Kune Do camp. Okay, I came to America, a lot of people don't know this, some people know this, but I came to America for Jeet Kune Do. That was my purpose to come to America to learn Jeet Kune Do, and originally I was actually going to bring Jeet Kune Do back to Israel. Uh, fast forward fucking uh, 35 years later, I'm still in America, uh, but that's beside the point. Okay, so this is when I first met Joe Louis in 1993. So I sought out Joe Louis for Jeet Kune Do, not for ranking in, uh, in Joe Louis fighting systems, not for karate, not for uh, uh, kickboxing. I literally, specifically, specifically, Sola Joe Lewis for Jeet Kune Do because Joe Lewis was a private student of uh, Bruce Lee and the rest is history since 1993. I absolutely fell in love with his teachings. They are real. They're non no nonsense. They're no bullshit. Uh, I believe there's a lot of people in the Jeet Kune Do world that are... Uh, well, I'll leave it alone. I'm not, I don't want to badmouth nobody. But, but, and also in, in the Joe Lewis fighting systems or karate, whatever... You got a lot of people that are also, I'm going to be nice and leave it alone. Okay, so in the process of, since 1993, an evolution happened with me and Joe Lewis and Jeet Kune Do and Joe Lewis fighting systems. Okay, so this is how it works. I first met him in 1993. In 1993. Okay, there was an, an, an entire article that went in a magazine about when I first met Joe Lewis with sparring, blah, blah, blah. I'm a guy that believes in sparring. I believe in you must inspect what you expect. Okay, so in 19, that's what happened when I first met him. I sparred him. I put things to the test. I had an inspection. I actually failed that inspection. At that time, I was in my mid-20s and a 50-year-old beat the fuck out of me. So to me, there was a failed inspection. Okay, in 1996, I tested for my black belt with Joe Lewis before the Joe Lewis fighting systems was created. Okay, let's. Let, uh, this is almost like a historical for the record uh, stuff. In 1996, I tested for my black belt with Joe Lewis, and at that day, Jerry Beasley, Dr. Jerry Beasley, was there as a witness, and Michael De Pasquale Jr. was there as a witness as well. And I tested for my. Uh, 1996 for my fourth degree black belt in Joe Louis system in Joe Louis system okay fast forward things forward in 2000 was the first annual 
Joe Louis Fighting System Research Black Belt Conference. I did not attend that conference. I was busy with the military contract teaching, uh, I believe at that time, uh, Marine Recons, and I was actually not available. But I attended the second one in 2001. That's the certificate of 2001. That's what Joe Louis signed for me that. So in 2000, in 2000, the Joe Louis Fighting System was created. Bear in mind, I tested for my black belt with Joe Louis before that organization was created. With the years, I got promoted. With the years, I got promoted. In, 2000, in 2002, the Joe Louis Fighting System uh, uh, published this. And on page number seven, you can see Mike Lee Kinect from Agana, Florida, blah, blah, blah. Promoted the fifth degree black belt on January 13, 2001. Okay, so that was the first time a black belt ranking went into record into Joe Louis Fighting Stations. That was my fifth degree black belt in 2002, but I tested in 1996, not related to Joe Louis Fighting Systems. I want this to make, to make clear that my ranking and my roots with Joe Louis was way before Joe Louis Fighting Systems was created. In 2003, the first Joe Louis Fighting System uh, uh, manual was created in 2003. That was the first edition, the first edition. In 2004, Joe Louis published this book, this book, okay? Everybody that's, that's into Joe Louis Fighting System should have this book. It's an excellent book, okay? It is written by Joe Louis himself. In 2008, I consider the Joe Louis Fighting System manual being the most evolution-wise or the most developed one, that one was in, 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 in its infancy. But by the time it was 2008, with a lot of work of Mike Allen and other people, the, 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 ninth, the version number nine was basically the finished, to me, the finished manual of Joe Louis Fighting System. In 2012, another one was published by the Joe Louis Fighting Systems. I'm not going to get into the politics of 2011 to 2012. That was the end life of Joe Louis. I am not making this video about that. But then they made this manual. This manual is identical to this manual with a few big things changes of more fees for ranking, for money for ranking and bylaws and this and that. But at the end of the day, that was the finished product of that manual. In 2013, Joe Louis and Jerry, Be uh, 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 Jerry Beasley published this book. Uh, it has a lot of the stuff of Joe Louis. It's actually a good book too, but I believe this book is much better than this book. This book is like the Tao of Jeet Kune Do of Joe Louis. This is just for uh, uh, history records. Uh, everybody should read this book. So that was published in 2013. In 2016, I created a striking militia system that was specifically for the military, but then uh, that, that, that year, uh, the, around that year, the government was shut down and that pro product was uh, put off the, on the shelf uh, in the DOD or the military. And I introduced it to my Agana organization, uh, basically kickboxing for street fighting. Okay, then I made another one uh, a, a couple years ago and I updated everything. If you look at the Dirty Dozen, of the Joe Louis fighting system, it is not the same as my Dirty Dozen. Okay, I want to make that clear. Okay, I, 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 I don't, I, my tactical Jeet Kune Do certification, while it has roots with Joe Louis and my evolution with Joe Louis, is completely independent of any other organization. And I'm going to explain that in one second. Okay, so if you look at the Dirty Dozen number one, it's a jab across and a switch round kick. My Dirty Dozen number one, is one of Joe Louis' favorite uh, combo. It is the shotgun, it is a double jab cross, and if you uh, train with Joe Louis, you knew he liked that a lot. Okay, in 2024, I published my book, Mike Lee Connect Machine of Life. Pay attention and please note that this is the unedited version. There's a lot of grammar uh, mistakes in it. There's a lot of spelling mistakes in it, but that's the way I wanted it on purpose. I didn't want to edit it, I didn't want uh, people get a, a clean book and it doesn't sound like fucking Mike Lee Kinneric. I wanted my colorful language to come across the words written in the book. And I think I did a good job and I, I'm very happy with the book. Actually, I was going to make the first 1,000 unedited. But because of uh, uh, the public demand, a lot of people are telling me, man, I'm so glad I got the unedited because 
I can actually hear your voice through the book. So I'm actually going to up that to three. The first 3,000 copies are going to be unedited. And only that I'll release the editor. But that's beside the point. It has nothing to do with it. On chapter number eight is the legacy chapter. Bruce Lee, Joe Louis, Mike Lee. Right there is a chapter that's completely dedicated. It's got the story of me when I first met uh, Joe Louis at Radford University of Nigeria, completely dedicated to the Joe Louis uh, connection with me and him. All right, let's talk about what the hell is tactical Jeet Kune Do certification. The tactical Jeet Kune Do certification will focus on the five angular of attack of Joe Louis, which is the interpretation of the five way of attack of Bruce Lee. That certification will be open to all stars. It has nothing to do with ranking. I never went to Joe Louis for ranking. Right now, I am a seventh degree black belt uh, under uh, this. This is my seventh degree black belt and designed by Jerry Beasley. And my last ranking that I got from Joe Louis was, while he was still alive, was my sixth degree black belt in 2005. This has nothing to do with ranking. It has to do with who wants to learn Tactical Jeet Kune Do, how do you apply the five angle of attack of Joe Lewis taught to Mike Lee Kenneric and as I've developed it into uh, what my teachings are, it will concentrate on both sport kickboxing, sparring and street fighting. It does not replace other Jeet Kune Do certification. It is basically, do you want to learn what Joe Lewis taught to Mike Lee Kenneric and do you want to learn how to apply it for sparring and for street fighting? Okay, so that's what the Tactical Jeet Kune Do certification uh, is all about. I'm going to have a dirty dozen that is not the same dirty dozen as the, as the Joe Louis fighting system to make sure that people know I, it is not connected. I did it on purpose. Also, my dirty dozen is more street oriented and it is connected to the five angular attacks of Joe Lewis. I hope this clears things up. Uh, I'm going to have dates for that certification very soon. Uh, I hope uh, people will actually love coming to, to learn, to apply, to be able to apply sparring and street uh, application as taught by Joe Lewis to Mike Lee Kenneric that was taught from Bruce Lee to Joe Lewis. All right, guys. I hope that kind of explains what's going on. I'm super, super, super excited about this project.